The war in the Pacific was in essence a titanic struggle between the American and Japanese navies, but the Royal Australian Navy played a crucial role in the Allied war effort, and this exhibition is an acknowledgement of that fact. My father at 17 joined the Royal Australian Navy, that was in 1941, and he served on HMS Hobart, which is depicted here in this photograph. And this photograph shows the Hobart in 1943 after it was torpedoed. And only once my father talked to me about that night and he said he was playing cards at the time uh, that the torpedoes hit and someone, just as the torpedoes hit, someone put the cards down on the table. Uh, sadly, at least two close friends of his were among those 13 who died in that attack and it was his very sad responsibility with others to go in and retrieve their bodies. My father then went on to serve for the rest of the war on minesweepers and I'm very happy to say he survived the war and went on to lead a long and happy life. We, the Navy, were not always the best advertisers of our own achievements and skills. And this exhibition demonstrates the breadth of that involvement in the Pacific and I hope you'll take full advantage of the brilliantly mounted exhibition here to try and get some feel for the Navy's involvement in World War II, which I don't think is well enough recognised today. And Joan here with me, we did our new entry at HMAS Lonsdale and then we went to Monterey and we learnt Morse code and how to listen to the Japanese Morse code Monterey didn't get much publicity for a long time, now it's all coming out. And there's no finer generation than those graduates from 25 uh, up to and including the period of the Second World War uh, that sacrificed and gave so much uh, to the service of their nation between 1939 and 1945.